Hey guys, so today I am going to share with you some polishes that I regret buying. So if you are sensitive, and I mean really sensitive, you probably shouldn't watch because I'm just talking about nail polish here. So these are not in any particular order. I'm just going to jump right in. The first one that I regret buying is Zealous from Revlon. This is a chartreuse color. I've worn this once. I don't even know why I got a wild hair up my butt and decided that this would be the color that I needed to buy. Um, it's not my color. It's really just not my color. There might be a time when I'm obsessed with it, but you know, <laughs> it's not now. This is Undercover. This I regret buying because of the packaging. If you have, if you are familiar with this Mega Last line, you'll know that the packaging does not look like this anymore. I will grab, grab one actually, hold on. Okay, so I just grabbed one, it's not the same color, um, but it is white and stormy. So this is the new packaging, this is the old packaging. I picked this one up like eight years ago. Um, I like this color, but I just, this cap, you know, it's just so fat. It's just, it makes it hard for me to apply. Um, but I just, you know, and you get so much more in this one now, so I regret buying this one. The next one is actually my first Essie that I've ever purchased. I remember finding this on clearance at Walgreens, and it is Limo Scene. I regret buying this because I, at the time, I bought it thinking, oh my gosh, Essie, you know, it has, it's expensive, so it must have a great formula. No, girl, no. This is so sheer. Um, I wanted, I picked this color up because I wanted this color on my nails and I could never get it there. I mean, I've used a lot of it because I tried to do that and it just, it never happened. So, this one. Okay, and then the next two I think are actually from maybe the same collection. This first one is Spring My Step from China Glaze. I picked this one up because I love pink. I love 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 pale pinks and I love China Glaze. China Glaze is actually one of my favorite brands but the formula on this is awful like it is awful I was so surprised and I thought it was just this one um, because like I said I think these are from the same collection this next one is pack lightly so I picked up I don't remember which one I picked up first but I picked up one of them and the polish formula was a disaster. It was so clumpy. You know, there are some polishes where you can add you can add um, a coat or try to fix something and it'll just blend right in. No, not with these. These are very reminiscent of Essie. And I was so disappointed. So I'm gonna have to say these two. Okay, and then this last one, um, I'm, I have a video coming up that does include this, um, but this is from Wet n Wild, it's the Fast Dry line, I don't know if they have it anymore, uh, but it's Grey's Anatomy, it's one of those oil and water colors, and I remember that there was so much hype surrounding this type of shade. And I had to have it, and so I picked it up, and I wore it once, and I hate it. I should have known, because, I mean, just looking at it, it's ugly. It's ugly to me. It was only $2, but still, it's like, I don't... I would love to have that $2 back to buy something else, you know what I'm saying? So those are all the nail polishes. No, that's not all of them. Those are some of the polishes that I regret buying. Um, if any of these are on your list too, I would love to know. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!